fresh ginger from our garden. Hello friends, welcome to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen. Today I'll be sharing with you the recipe of how to make a quick and simple palak paneer stir fry. So let's get started. You can either use ready-made or homemade paneer. I prefer homemade paneer because it's much softer and you can check out my channel on how to make fresh paneer. I'm using half a kg or about 500 grams of paneer. The other ingredients that we need are 1 onion, 2 red tomatoes, 1 lemon or lime, half an inch of ginger, 2 green chilies, and 6 ounces or about 4 cups of washed spinach leaves. So the next step is to chop the onion, tomatoes, green chilies and you can chop it however you want. Let's grate half an inch of ginger. Now it's time to chop and cut washed and cleaned spinach about 6 ounces. Now let's get started with the cooking of paneer. In a non-sticking wok, put 1 ladle of oil. I'm putting half a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera and once it starts to sizzle add green chili and the ginger that we had grated at this time i'm adding the onion as well once the onion becomes light golden let's also add the tomatoes and stir fry at high heat for a minute or two at this time let's also add the spinach and as you can see i have roughly chopped the spinach but if you're using baby spinach, you don't even need to chop it. The best part about this recipe is that it's really quick and you're having fresh vegetables with the cottage cheese or paneer which is so rich in proteins. And as you can see, the spinach has started to darken in color and soften up. So at this time, I'm going to add the paneer that we had cut into cubes. And I'm also going to sprinkle one teaspoon of salt but you can put that as per your taste. I'm also putting 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric and about half a teaspoon of red chili powder. But these are optional. This particular recipe doesn't even need the additional spices. Let's add half a cup whole milk. I like adding milk to paneer because it really softens and makes it very tender. Finally, let's squeeze half a lemon or lime. I'm also adding 1 fourth teaspoon of chaat masala. You can also put dry mango powder or amchur powder, whatever you have available. Now, these are extra touches that make the paneer really delicious. And here we go, friends. Palak paneer stir fry is ready. I hope you enjoyed this delicious, nutritious, and a quick and easy recipe. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, eat naturally, live happily.